have the honor of serving as the advisor for the West Virginia University Mountaineer Week Health and Wellness Committee. Um, I'm also an uh, internal medicine and pediatric physician at W Medicine, who is this year's sponsor of our Mountaineer Week Safe Community. So we brought together different organizations across campus to highlight the fact that West Virginia University in the greater Morgantown area is a designated safe community by the National Safety um, Council. This was a designation we received in June. So we have different booths that highlight different areas of safety. We have a W Medicine booth. The John Michael Moral Trauma Center is here talking about uh, uh, distracted driving, we have Well WU as well as the W School of Pharmacy discussing how to dispose of drugs properly. Um, we also have the It's On Us campaign here in the Title IX office. So we have a bunch of different events. Um, we have nutrition students giving information about how we can keep food safe. So we're trying to promote safety and wellness in our community as part of Mountaineer Week. This is our distracted and impaired driving simulator. Uh, it takes you through two courses, either being impaired, meaning drunk, or uh, on drugs, or distracted, where it gives you a phone and it mimics what it's like when you're driving distracted. This number is 916-941. No, wait, hang up. Just text him. Pretend you're me. So it's easy to see if you're distracted, how quickly things can get you ran over a soccer ball, which could be a good child. She has a set of um, junk goggles or intoxication goggles on at a level of 0.17 to 0.20, and we're having her with the goggles on, put the shapes in the con contrasting shapes on the uh, mat, and you can't use the same color twice in the time. And I'm with the WVU School of Pharmacy, and we have a program called Generation RX, and it's about educating the community on safe medication practices and about addiction awareness. And we are here today handing out uh, medication disposal kits, which are actually kitty litter, and it's to dispose of medication uh, appropriately in the home and you take your medicine, put it in here, add a little bit of water and you're able to throw it away so you're not flushing your medicine down the toilet uh, to keep the water safe and to keep children, animals, pets and the rest of our community safe.